What is going on, Ben Nation? Guys, the, the most incredible thing just happened. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Benjamin Franklin Delano Roosevelt Armstrong has retired from cryptocurrency. And um, in case you didn't know, he's going to become an ADA Cardano rapper. Uh, he's going to join the Cardano gang. And they're going to be like the Sugar Hill gang without sugar, I want to say. Uh, so guys, if you haven't already, make sure you pick up the mixtape because that's just going to be the start of this new level of Benjamin, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt Armstrong. I'm just kidding. Of course, guys. So we're going to talk about price action and we're going to talk about what's coming. And we got a statement from Ben himself. Uh, it says, and I'm just going to read it for you. It says, Hey guys, I've seen the staking dashboard and you guys are going to love it. Uh, one of our two copyright strikes fell off of the channel today. So hopefully that helps our views go up. So, uh, in case you guys didn't see there, there had been some, you know, new nurse that means wiener, by the way, uh, where, where I'm from. So he had a couple of what they call wiener strikes, uh, uh from, you know, the wiener dude, Ronnie, the wiener, or whatever his name is. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I look at, it, I see it, um, but I'm not flock of seagulls. I don't ran, you know what I mean? Uh, but those things should work themselves out uh, in short order. In the meantime, let's talk about price action. Let's talk about what's going on. Um, again, Ben's not really becoming a Cardano rapper. He can't rap. You know that. He and I should have a wrap off one day. We should probably do that. We should do a wrap off. Maybe not. But, you know, if we could, I'm just trying to put money in your pocket. That crypto wallet, that bing, bada, bing, ching, ching big profit. So let's look at the charts. Let's figure out what's going on and let's see how we're doing. So we got the bounce where we anticipated the bounce to happen at 45. Uh, the market's still, the market's very wonky right now. Uh, it looks like it really just wants to send. Um, a, a lot of different tokens are having that, that downward momentum today. It, it's very, I think very simply put, uh, let's go through this and then I'll tell you what I think is going on. Uh, so we got that bounce off of the, the little confluence that we had right here of uh, resistance support, et cetera, et cetera, giving a bounce. Uh, somebody just sold a little while ago. So we had that little drawdown right there. But uh, that bounce is now active. It's starting to, to move back in the positive direction. Uh, again, I think this is our general area right here around six. Uh, I think we'll get a nice little move up into that range over the next coming days. It actually you know, we had this conversation yesterday. I told you I expected that there would be a reversal and a bounce, and there's a reversal and a bounce. Uh, of course, we did end up down here <coughs> at that line to begin with first, which I was anticipating that we probably would not do that. I thought hopefully we would just kind of grab onto this little range right here, but uh, that was just not to be, and it doesn't happen. Now, as far as the, the broader markets go, uh, you know, just to give you an idea of what's going on here, you, there was a huge drawdown. Uh, yesterday, then a big spike, and then in the last three hours, just a big drawdown again. Uh, most of it got eaten back up pretty quickly. Um, but it didn't even bounce off of the point of control for 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 this region. So yeah, I think we're in um, fairly decent position, I, I want to say. So um, so what happens next? Well, you know, I think the, the the important part here is altcoins, meme coins, everything is really running on a different cycle than Bitcoin now. Because of the ETF, because of everything that's happened, the dynamic of the market has changed dramatically. And that dramatic change has resulted in a few different sort of paradigm shifts, if you will. Bitcoin runs basically of its own accord, does its own thing. Ethereum is pretty well brought along with it for the most part. And there's still going to be some direct correlation. It's not completely decoupled. But you know, some weird stuff happening in the market and I think that this market is waiting for the next big move. Um, it, it's waiting for about three trillion market cap, and then we're going to get a tiny little, um, a, a tiny little move. It's probably probably going to correlate to the having as we get closer to the having. We're going to see a little bit more happening. Until then, it's going to be kind of a hold on tight and you know wait for that big moment to happen sort of situation, if you will. Um, I think that we're in great shape overall, but, um, you know, this market has been just incredibly wonky. Uh, you've seen a lot of weird stuff happening. Uh, you've seen things just start ripping for no reason. Uh, you've seen them then just get swept back for liquidity. Uh, you, you, so there's just some weird stuff happening. So uh, give this, uh, give Ben just a little bit of time. Let this thing build just a bit. 
Um, you let that staking come out. You know, we'll start to see some partnerships. We'll start to see some wild things happening uh, going forward. We haven't quite made it there yet. Um, and, and I know it's taking longer than anybody anticipated. I, I get that. I'm along with you guys. You know, I'm holding the bag as well. But I have every confidence that Ben Armstrong is going to, uh, when it's time, just set this thing on fire and it's going to be next level. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.